we're going to have a look at this algorithm by completing a trace table. This was actually um, question B in the OCR exam question. Using the algorithm, complete the trace table to calculate the value of sequence item in brackets 5. And the trace table has got the variables on the top row, the headings, N, I and answer. I'm going to show that in a um, spreadsheet and I'm going to use the spreadsheet to record the line numbers we trace through. So the question wanted us to find the value of sequence item brackets 5, so n being 5. So in line 2, answers set equal to 1. I'm just going to format these numbers to left align so they're easier to read. In line 3, the, f the um, start of the for loop, i is set equal to 1. In line 4, answer is set equal to, is assigned the value of answer plus i. So we can see from the trace table, answer plus i would make 2. And 2 is overwritten into the variable answer. So answer becomes 2 as a result of line 4. Line 5 repeats the loop for the next value of i. So the loop repeats. We go back to line 3 and this time i becomes 2. i is 2, we go to line 4, now if i is 2, 2 plus the value of answer which is currently 2 will be stored in answer so answer will become 4. We go back to line 3, i now becomes 3, and line 4 answer is going to be the current value of answer which is 4 plus i which is 3. 4 plus 3 is 7. So I've just done another couple of these um, traces through the algorithm. I'm now at the point where i has been incremented up to 5. Now the value of n, the upper limit of the loop, was taken from the parameter so this procedure was called with the value of n being 5, which we've put into the trace table now. So in this iteration, when i is now equal to 5, this will be the last time through the loop. So answer will now be the result of i, which is 5, plus the current answer of 11, which is 16. There we are. So having traced through the algorithm, taking each line at a time, we know that the answer will become 16. So this function will return the value 16 if n is 5.